Something? Get in line. We're already swamped. I brought you something to brighten your mood. My lights! You got the bridge lights? How? No, never mind how. None of my business. And none of Brecken's either. You just tell him you found him in a shoebox. You're my ace new partner, Crane. I'm gonna take care of you. Tomorrow night, we're gonna be a lot more secure. Hi guys and welcome to the 4th episode of Dying Light 1 I'm sorry I haven't been posting But I just, I was just busy and I done a lot of thinking And found out some cool stuff about myself so I guess that time wasn't wasted But it, Dying Light it's night time so I would want to catch Splinter And I'm dead Give me your shit. Thank you. Okay, Doc. Here comes your chunk of zombie guts. Oh! Right before the safe zone. But that's alright. I got the guts. I got everything I need. Ah, uh, Crane. Come in, come in. Did you get the samples I asked for? Excellent, excellent. I was just telling Dr. Camden about... Hello, Mr. Crane. Glad to have you working with us. You uh, sound like an impressive individual. Interesting stuff what passes for blood in this creature. Photosensitive. Quite deadly if used on a weapon, I'd wager. But I digress. My last bit of reagent here, and a reserve vial of... Oh, my word. This tissue, it's testing positive for the recombined virus. Camden, do you know what this means? The meat experiment worked. When I dose the meat samples with the altered strain, it's had an effect. This could explain all the different mutations. But I can't. Camden could. He has the equipment. But we have no way to get the research to him. Well, you can talk to him on the radio. Why not share the info that way? Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. What if I delivered this stuff to you, Dr. Camden? By hand. The data and the tissue samples both. Crane, getting from there to here would be insanely dangerous. Yeah, but it could mean a cure, right? You don't know how much this means, dear boy. To me, to all of us. I'll contact you when everything's ready. You must go now. Much to do. Much to do. Hey, Crane. You there? Omar and I went to blow up that nest. Wait, you what? Fucking hell, Raheem, that was my job! Oh, right, because you're more qualified to handle explosives than I am. You're just a goddamn tourist! All right, what happened? Where are you? We're on the overpass, and it's all going to shit. Listen, head to the train yard. Find a place to hide. I'm on my way. Omar, behind you! Behind you! Raheem! Raheem! God damn it. 
Rice's people are everywhere. Reckon. I just Reckon saw do some you of copy? them in the tunnel near the lake. Yeah, I copy. What is it? I couldn't tell exactly what they were doing. I'm on my way to get Raheem. Raheem? He's here in the tower. No, he's not. He and Omar went to blow that nest, and now they're in trouble. Like, what? Fuck! Where'd they get the explosives? Well, I... Look, I stole them from Rise. Oh, Jesus, H. Christ! I'm close. I'll get him to safety, Brecken. You damn well better. You save him, you hear me? You save him so I can kick his fucking ass! Does Jade know about this? No, she doesn't. For God's sake, don't tell her. She'll go out looking for him. And I don't need her getting herself killed, too. God damn it! Ugh. And it's me. I found Omar's body on the overpass, but no trace of Raheem. Shit. Any idea where he'd go? I told him to hide in the train yard. You find him, you hear me? That little bastard better be alive. I found Omar's body on the overpass. He must have gotten away. That's right! Keep coming, you motherfuckers! I'll send you all to hell! <laughs> Bombs. They'll blow in less than five minutes. Oh shit, kid, you're bleeding. Huh? Oh, I, I cut myself. It, it's not the fuck. Just, just plant the bombs. I right, don't move. You got it? I'll, I'll be right back. 
There's a sewer entrance here in the terminal, near the west wall. Use that tunnel. It'll take you straight to the hive. Okay, I'm back on the surface. See that big ass culvert over to your right? Head through it. Once you get into the building, head up the ramp and get up to the floor above. You need, you need to put the bomb on one of the big support columns. Okay, first one set. Got it. Raheem! Hey, it's me, kid. I did it! Ah, oh, Raheem! I oh, should have seen it. Oh, God. The whole damn building came down! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 Raheem, stop! Raheem, it's me! It's me, kid, it's Crane! Oh, Jesus! Raheem, stop! So. Bite wound. Oh. You goddamn stupid fucking kid. Oh God, Jade. Crane, do you copy? What's going on? Brecken. Raheem. Raheem is dead. Brecken. How did he die? I had to kill him. It was too late. He, he turned. I had no choice, I swear. But, but he was my friend, too. He was the best one I had here. I know, I know. He frustrated the shit out of me sometimes. I loved him like he was my own kin. Another dead friend. Another dead brother. I trusted him. I trusted him with those explosives. God, maybe if I didn't leave him there, he'd... He'd still be alive. I... I... Oh, no. Jade! Jade! Wait! Jade, goddammit! Just... 
Just give her time. She needs to grieve. There's no one inside. They took Zera and drove away. Crane, look, I know I've been hard on you. But after what happened to Rahim, and now Dr. Zera, you have to understand. Reckon there's no apologies necessary. And don't worry, I'll bring Zera back in one piece. Just be careful, okay? And I'm sorry about Rahim. I know you were close. No, I love that stupid kid too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I found an entrance. I can't say it was easy, though. I'm going in. Just keep your eyes open. Good luck in there. Crane here. I could really use some GRE support right now. That's too bad, Agent Crane. This is the Ministry of Defense. The fuck? What the hell's going on? What happened to the GRE? The global relief efforts position here has been diminished. We are in charge now, and we have declared Haran a Code 1 target zone. Wait, 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 wait. Just hang on. You, you can't just carpet bomb this place. There are still hundreds of innocent people in here. Maybe thousands. Surely you can understand that. Okay, okay just, just listen. There's this scientist in here named Zara, and he's been doing research on a cure, and he's really close. I've seen the research. If you bomb the city, just... Acknowledged. The chances of one scientist in a wrecked city coming up with useful results are negligible at best, but... You have 48 hours. After that, we will set events in motion to cleanse Haran of any trace of the virus. Your time starts now.
Shit, it's broken. Maybe I could pry it open. friend. That's why I gave the packages to Jade. I know you said you would deliver them, 
but she was there, and time being of the essence. Doc? So, it takes no more than a false hope of rescue to loosen the good doctor's lips. Hunt the scorpion down, spare no resource. With pleasure. And these two? What should we do with them? You'll never find her. Never. And I'll never talk. You'll get nothing from me. I am less concerned with making you talk, Doctor, than I am in preventing your escape. <laughs> Sadistic fuck, he's an old man! Give the Doctor some first aid. And take Crane to the beat. Send him up. Oh, shit. Doc. You come to us like a snake in the grass. Here, in a city of lies, you are the biggest liar of them all. What the hell are you talking about? Answer me, motherfucker! Yes. Lose control. That is what you Americans are so good at, after all. If I... Corpses. Leave Crane. Yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
fear will spread. Such a shame you'd be a corpse by then. Is this your first feeble attempt at controlling your own destiny, Crane? Too little, too late, I fear. Impressive! For a walking dead man... Entertainment for my men. Too bad it's a one-time performance. This will only prolong the inevitable. But try to make the best of it, huh? Let no one say I never gave you anything, Crane. Your skills no longer come as a surprise, Crane. The GRE selects its operatives well. <sighs> Shit. Lower the platform. Otherwise, is the sheerest folly. Allow me to demonstrate. Hassan, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Publish the file. Right away, sir. And there. Easy said. You just doomed thousands of innocent people. That's what you get with your fucking chaos. You don't know what was on that file, do you, Crane? You only proved my point for me. The GRE plans to weaponize the virus, not cure it. They're only interested in profit, not saving lives. And by following their rules, you have become their trained monkey. Pathetic. All right. Kill him. <laughs> Get you out of here. Crane, save these people. They don't deserve 
all of this. You, give me the torch. What are you swine waiting for? Shoot him! I'm sorry, Doc. Got me. Bastards. Where have you been? What the hell happened? I have to... I have to get to this tower. Oh my god! No, not this again! Oh. again. to hide you at the pier. Half of Rice's men are after you. Whatever you've done, it's really put them on the warpath. I have to talk to Jade. Zara, he gave her his research. She took it to Camden. Well, she tried to. Camden radioed that Rice's thugs had found his lab. So he flooded it with biters and barricaded himself in the middle. Now he's trapped. Then the connection failed. We haven't been able to raise him since. I'm going after her. How was she getting in? That part of town is sealed off. There's a group called the Saviors that smuggles people through. They have a den at Nico's bar in the cauldron near the highway. The contact's name is Jenk. Do, do you have enough runners to cover airdrops? The airdrops stopped 36 hours ago. There won't be any more. We're out of time, Crane. Shit. All right. I don't know if I can fix this, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. You know. Most men in your situation will crawl into a hole and hide. Hats off to you, mate, and good luck.
Hey, Crane. Here's your gear. Best regards from Kareem. <laughs> Kareem, huh? Uh, if you see him, thank him for me. I'm Neil Fallon. I'm a journalist for International Affairs magazine. Yeah, I've heard of you. You have? How the hell did you get in here? It wasn't so hard during the first few days of the quarantine. And when they put Suleiman in charge, it was pretty clear how things were going to go. So you decided to stick around? Actually, I've decided to leave. Though God knows how that's going to happen. I've been in some lockdown cities before, but there's usually someone you can bribe. Not here. I can't get you out of Haran. I'm not sure anyone can. No, of course. But I've been documenting this place pretty much from day one. I've interviewed hundreds of, well, people who aren't people anymore. Suleiman has a lot to answer for. The world needs to know what's happened and... Look, I'm kind of desperate here. I've lost my work, all of it. I was holed up at an internet cafe when a mob of infected landed on me. I got out without a bite, but I left my satchel at the cafe. And everything's in the satchel? Most of it. They chased me for a while, so I finally had to ditch my camera in a car. Look, I know it's a lot to ask. All right, even if I recovered them, you still don't have a way out of here. Mister, if I can't get my work back, there's no reason for me to get out. Now that cafe's in a bad area. I'll... I'll think about it, but no promises, okay? Feel free to browse. I'm stocked up on the good stuff. <laughs>